In this code sample we developed an application that includes a very specific activity that was marked as the activity that will be invoked when the user uh, wants uh, to search something and is currently using one of the other activities. Currently there is only one uh, other activity, the main activity. The main activity in this code sample is a very simple activity that displays a button, a button the user needs uh, to press in order to pop up the search dialog. <clears throat> the user interface itself includes just one button so that when the user press that button on search requested is invoked which pop up the search uh, dialog. Um, make sure that the manifest file that defines this uh, main activity includes a metadata element the very same metadata element you see um, over here a metadata with uh, Android name uh, assigned with this value and Android value assigned with uh, this value and this metadata uh, tells the um, Android platform that uh, this uh, main activity is an activity that um, allows the user to search for something or in other words to invoke the search dialog. If you want all uh, activities in your application uh, to allow that you can just uh, take that element and place it as a child element of application instead of uh, being a child element for a specific activity. So let's get back to the main activity. Um, let's take a look at the emulator. So um, let's just execute the application. So here is the main activity, the main activity with uh, the one and only button, click to search. This is the button here, I, I uh, handled uh, its um, event. So when the user press that button, on search requested is invoked, which indirectly pop up the search um, dialog on top of the screen. So let's press and see it happens. Okay, so this is the search dialog and now as you can see there is already a, a gray text saying um, to the user here you can search for a low greetings. Um, this gray uh, text is configured in a separated XML file we should save within the XML folder within a uh, REST. Here it is. And this XML file in our application configures the search capability. Uh, there are many attributes we can add. We can uh, enable voice search. We can manipulate, configure the search itself. For now, if you take a look, the value of Android int is this uh, string resource and if we check this uh, string resource so you can see that the search in, in for now is search hello greetings so that's why over here we see uh, search hello greetings now let's say I want to search the word uh, salam for example now when I press enter, uh, this uh, word 
the, the text the user entered for now uh, in this code sample I enter the text uh, salam is uh, placed within an intent an intent that is um, is created indirectly and invoke a very specific activity that I specified as the uh, searchable activity as the activity that each uh, other activity that um, uh, performs a search will invoke it and the query string will be passed over together with the intent to that very specific uh, activity we chose to make as the uh, searching activity, the activity that should um, get the query string, perform the search and uh, present uh, the, 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 the result in a list view or something like that. So here in this code sample, let's get back to reality. We have another activity, search activity. And search activity is a very simple one. It includes a map with a key value pairs, but instead of doing something stupid like that, you might want to work with a database or a RESTful web services or whatever. And when this activity is invoked, it happens because a user, the user entered uh, some text in a, in, in a search dialog and pressed enter. And that text is passed over to this activity uh, so we can fetch it out and this is exactly what we do here first I get a, from a, get the intent object that invoked this uh, search activity and then um, I verify that uh, this is an intent with uh, action that equals the intent dot action search uh, string and if this is the case, then I know, okay, this activity was invoked for searching purpose. And here I just call the get string extra on the intent object, <coughs> looking for um, the value that its key is search manager dot query. So this is how I fetch the, the query string the user entered in the other activity, the main activity. And then I perform some search, uh, query the database or whatever. In this code sample, it is a simple uh, search with, with, um, using a map. And then uh, present some sort of uh, <coughs> result or results to the user. Uh, so this activity that we chose to make to become the search, uh, searchable activity is the one that's responsible to perform the search once it receives the, the, the query and present the, the result on the screen. Now, in order to take an activity and make it the search activity, the searchable activity, let's take a look at the manifest file. As you can see, uh, the activity we choose to turn into a searchable activity should include an intent filter with uh, the action android.intent.action.search so the intent thrown from the other activity will match uh, this uh, activity and in addition we should place uh, metadata this very specific metadata that uh, configures this activity to become a searchable activity and here we refer uh, to the XML document we showed before the XML document that configure the, the whole search so let's summarize the manifest file um, should include the application element of course and then within the application element there are um, activity elements for each one of the activities. So each activity has the activity element with its uh, very specific configuration. Uh, an activity that allows the user <coughs> to pop up the search dialog uh, should include uh, this very specific metadata 
we can alternatively uh, place this metadata um, uh, as a child element of the application, not the activity, and then um, the effect will be for all the activities, not just the very specific activity. The activity we want to be a searchable activity, meaning that um, it will be an activity that when someone enters something into a query, into a search uh, dialog and press enter, this is the one that will get the query string and um, perform the search and present the result. So this one uh, should include this metadata. Otherwise, it, it won't be clear that this is an activity that um, uh, should receive the, the, the query string perf and performs uh, the search itself and present the result. So let's get back to the example itself. So as we showed before, uh, this is the main activity. The other activity, uh, I press click to search, I enter some text, and then when I press enter, uh, take a look, I'm moved to the search activity, the one that receives the query string, performs the search, and presents the result on the screen.